Okay guys, I am up on the clay hill. There's the alfalfa. I want to talk a little bit about a seed prepper, seed preparation and being flexible. And uh, I'm just going to shut the tractor down here and talk real quick. So, historically the way I would take a clover field and prep it for wheat would be uh, I would go out, chisel it, uh, then I would wait for rain to mellow the ground. Then I would either disc or spread manure. After I spread the manure, I would disc again. And then I would wait for another rain and I would field cultivate and I would plant, uh, you know, thereby creating a stale seed bed. Very similar how to how I do my row crops. Well, uh, this year, you know, I saw a thing the other day, I think that so far this year we've gotten 22 inches of rain. Uh, so we're not only short, but some of those were the big rains that come in the spring. Right now we have hit drought. And uh, the only reason we're not in a far worse drought is because we did have decent rain, you know, in the spring. And so this field here uh, i did combine the clover on it i showed you a little bitty clip of that i think or i have a clip of it i can't remember whether i posted it but uh we're trending dry and we're trending a lot drier and so what i am doing uh to prep this clover field for wheat uh i chiseled the ground of course it was dry and hard and cloddy then I came out and I dissed it right away. And the reason I did that was to seal in moisture. Uh, at that time, you know, uh, we've basically been in dry weather since probably the middle of July and the trend has not changed yet. And so, you know, I am conscientious uh, about my no-till and about full tilling and wanting to limit my tillage. And I'm also aware of tillage burning moisture. And so how I mix it up this year was I chiseled the ground, then I came out and dissed it right away. Uh, then I spread manure. If you look down there, you can see the manure tracks from the manure spreader. But when I was spreading manure, I did not want to leave any clumps. And so I kept my RPMs real high. And, uh, and then I waited for rain. Had that done the, uh, oh, it was the first week of September. And lo and behold, here we are at the last week of September and we had a half an inch of rain. I believe that was a week ago, but it kind of came in two events. And so in effect, we haven't got much rain on this ground. And so I am out now. It is, uh, I think September 29th and I am field cultivating. And so instead of waiting for rain to come and mellow the ground you know i dissed the ground i dissed the cloddy chiseled ground the minute i was done chiseling sealed in the moisture uh spread manure and now i'm coming back and field cultivating and i am doing you know in effect two passes to get the field smoothed up but uh and shortly i will be back planting wheat and so anyway, I have switched into conservation mode and I am planting wheat into dry ground now. You know, think about the old saying, grandpa's old saying, you plant wheat in the dust, your bins will bust. Well, we're gonna find out, uh, but I want this soil smooth enough and I put the wheat in dust and then if we get, you know, a 30 hundreds or a half an inch rain, hopefully we get enough to bring the wheat. But anyway, you have to be flexible in how you approach tillage. You know, I've said in many of my spring videos that the typical, uh, the typical scenario is you are burning moisture. Uh, well, in a drought like this, you're no longer burning moisture. And so I have to think like a Western Kansas farmer, and I have to start thinking about conserving moisture, limiting tillage passes, and uh, in effect, you know, getting a dust seal on the ground uh, so that the moisture that does come will, will not just evaporate away. Uh, the one thing I will say about this approach 
is that it does leave me a little bit vulnerable. Overworking the ground leaves me a little bit vulnerable if a big rainfall event would come. But that's just a risk we're going to have to take because even looking into the uh, long range forecast, there's very little chance for rain. And so I think that we are in drought and it's time to be flexible and mix up your tillage strategies so that you are Instead of burning moisture, you are conserving it. Thanks for watching.